All right, y'all, welcome to part four of Whack-A-Mole. We've got a working game where our hits and our misses are counted and our reset button all works. In part four, what we're going to do is set up a speed-up mole procedure to make our game harder. And we're, we'll also, um, sh I'll show you a couple other things you can try. Um, so let's get started. We're, we want to go to our blocks here and procedures and get this first block to procedure due. And let's give it a name, Speed Up Mole. And inside our procedure, we want to go to Control and get an if-then block. Our if is our test statement. It tests if this actually is happening. So we're going to go to Math and get the equal sign. And we'll change the equal sign to a greater than sign. And we're going to test the hits value. So hits value dot text. So if our hits value dot text is over a certain number, and that number for this first one I'm going to put at 5. So basically if our hits are over 5, then what we want to do is change the timer interval for the mole clock. We want to make it, we want to make it, the, the mole move faster. So we want to set the mole clock timer interval to and if you go back to your designer and you look at the mole clock, we have the timer interval set at one second. So the mole moves every second. What's going to happen now is we'll use subtraction to take away from that amount so it'll move even faster. So we'll add in a subtraction sign there. We'll go to the mole clock again and get mole clock timer interval. And let's take away, let's try it first, we'll try 10. So I'm going to type in 10, not 103. Okay. So we'll do that for this, this first amount here. And we can right click and duplicate this if then block. And we'll change the amount to 10. So now when it gets greater than 10, both of these will subtract. So 11 would actually subtract 20. 12 would actually subtract 20. <laughs> Duplicate. And really this process is just trial and error. So I'm going to put it at 15. I'm going to duplicate it one more time and set it to 20. And once we have it all set up, you can always feel free to lower this amount that it's subtracting from because eventually it'll get to a point where you can't even touch it. It'll go so fast. All right, so we have our procedure created, but it won't work by itself. We need to go to procedures and get the call speed up mole procedure block. And that's what actually calls it to happen. And we need to add that when the mole is touched. So you want to find that block. So when mole's touched, it'll call that procedure to occur. So now if the score would be, or the hits value would be greater than 5, then it would start taking away 10 for every time. Okay, So we have that. We also need to set up the uh, reset button. We want to reset the mole clock timer interval. So let's go back to the uh, mole clock timer interval and we're going to set it back to its original amount when the reset button happens or is clicked so let's put in a thousand that'll be milliseconds there oh and I have timer enabled timer interval that's why it wasn't going in okay so we're setting the mole clock timer interval to 1000 and if I get it open here as my score goes up, the speed of the mole is going a lot faster. And if I could actually hit it, the hits would be going up big time. And I can hit reset. Okay. Some other things to think about, you could try adding in a, another mole. So you could create it just like we did with the first, with another clock, moving it around. Um, um, 
and creating the second like mole to touch. You could also test for a certain number of misses. You could make the game over label come up if that occurs. Uh, but for the grade, just make sure you have the uh, speed up mole procedure. That'll be it for part four.